Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about statistical analysis of quantitative data, specifically on descriptive statistics. So at the end of this lesson, uh, you'd be able to accurately describe a given set of data using descriptive statistics and correctly apply statistical analysis in a set of data. When we say descriptive statistics, these are statistical methods that refer to the analysis of data that helps describe, show, or summarize data in a meaningful way. So when we say of descriptive statistics, um, it actually provides a visual uh, summary of the data. Descriptive statistics includes the measures of central tendency. So when we say measures of central tendency, these are used to measure the middle value of the data. So when we say middle value, hindi lang siya yung value na nasa pinakagitna ng set of data. But these measures of central tendency, these include the mean, median, and the mode. So you have already um, learned in grade 10 about the difference between or the differences between mean, median, and mode. But let's um, review the basic information about these measures of central tendency. Una, when we say mean, this refers to the average of the given set of numbers. The mean is used if the level of measurement of the data is interval or ratio. Right? Interval data or ratio. So if we have three numbers like 3, 4, 5, to get the mean, we add all of them and we divide them by 3 kasi tatlo sila. So that's 12 divided by 3 and so the average or the mean is 4. Another measure of central tendency is median. Median is the middle value of the data, yung pinakagitna. So first, you have to arrange the set of, uh, you have to arrange the numbers or the data from lowest to highest, and then you locate the middle value. And, and for this example, we have here 15 as the middle value, and that's the median. So mas mainam gamitin ang median kapag ka ang data ay ordinal. Okay, ordinal o yung nararank ng mga data. Okay? So another measure of central tendency is the mode. The mode is the most frequently occurring value in a data set. So yung pinakamarami nag-appear. Okay? So ilang beses siya nag-appear. Yung pinakamarami doon, that's the mode. So we have, um, in this example, the mode is 6. Kasi diba we have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 6 appeared 5 times in this set of data. So, uh, that's the most frequently occurring value. So, that's the mode. So, mainam gamitin ang mode um, when the data is nominal. Ano? Nominal. Halimbawa, yung mga categories lang. Yung mga categories na mga set of data. Halimbawa, yung common diseases. Diba? So, those, those are uh, nominal data. So, ano ba doon ang may pinakamaraming frequency? Okay? So, that's the mode. What does the measure of central tendency tell us about the set of data? Example, Ms. Cruz wants to get the middle score of the grades of 15 of her students in practical research. The scores are fa as follows. Dito sa tables. Ayan. And using uh, the data analysis, ito yung lumabas na mean. Okay, um, disregard lang muna natin yung standard error. So, we have here the mean, the median, and the mode. The mean is 84.73. Um, what does it tell us? The mean of the data is 84.73. This means that the scores fall closely to 84.73. The median, 83. So, what does it tell us? Median is 83, and this means that when the scores are arranged in order, the middle value or the middle score is 83. The mode of the data is 91. So this means that the score that appears most often is 91. The, the most frequently appearing score is 91. Another um, statistical method that we used in descriptive statistics is the measures or are the measures of variability. So these uh, measures of variability, so this, this statistical tools, tells us how spread out the scores are. 
Okay, gaano ba kalayo sa isa't isa? Or gaano ba ka-close sa isa't isa yung mga scores? Okay. And this include the range, the standard deviation, and the sample variability. But in uh, our lesson, we are going to discuss only the range and the standard deviation. So when we say the range is very, uh, no, no, uh, it's very, uh, it's the simplest measures of um, variability. It's just uh, the difference between the highest and the lowest score of the data. So yeah, here. This is the simplest measure of variability. So, yung highest, um, it, minusan mo lang nung lowest. So, it simply tells us gaano kalayo ang lowest dun sa highest score. Okay? Another measure of variability is the standard deviation. Ito yung gagamitin natin uh, dun sa research paper ninyo, standard deviation. So, the standard deviation represents the spread of the scores. So, we have here... Um, this is the distribution of the data, okay? So, this figure represents, uh, this curve represents a small standard deviation. So, makikita dito, if this is the mean, then these are the intervals of the scores. So, if uh, that standard deviation is small, it simply tells us that the scores are close to the mean, okay? Pretty much close to the mean. Ito naman, this is... Uh, the distribution of the data wherein the standard deviation is large. So, if this is the mean here, kung ito yung mean, look at the data, they're very much spread out. So, masyadong malayo sila sa mean. Okay? Example. Dr. De La Cruz is testing how the growth of 10 tomato plants is affected using an organic fertilizer. The height of the plants are shown below. Describe the variability of the given data. So, ito yung mga height ng mga plants niya. So, we have 10 tomato plants. The standard deviation of the data is 0 0.70 or 0 0.70. So, this suggests that the data is not that spread out. Most of the height of the plants is 0 0.7 less than the mean up to 0 0.7 greater than the mean. So, if we uh, analyze it further, kung ang mean niya ay, um, let's say kung ang mean niya ay 10 cm, hindi, um, hindi naman sinabi dito ano, kung ano ang mean niya. So halimbawa, ang mean niya ay 10 cm and the standard deviation is 0 0.7. Meaning to say, the interval, uh, most of the scores are just, 0.7 less than 10, so that is like 9.3, and then up to 10.7 greater than the mean. Okay, so pretty much close masyado yung mga height ng plants dun sa mean height ng plants. Another descriptive statistic that, that is used to describe the data is the distribution of the data. Okay. Um, we have the skewness and the kurtosis for uh, the description of the distribution of data. Okay, so if we say skewness, this refers to the distortion or asymmetry in a symmetrical bell curve. So we have uh, the bell curve usually, ito siya symmetrical distribution. However, if the data um, is skewed either to the left or to the right, ito yung magiging itsura niya. Okay. So, we have either positively skewed and negatively skewed data. Ano ba kaibahan ng dalawa? So, if we say positively skewed distribution means that um, most of the data are clustered to the left side of the distribution. So, positive skewness, ibig sabihin, yung data, yung most of the data are andito lahat sa left side. Okay, sa left side ng bell curve. Pag sinabi namang negatively skewed, meaning most of the data is clustered to the right, and dito naman sila sa right banda, halos lahat ng data, no? So, that's negatively skewed distribution. However, we have here a symmetrical distribution. We have here our mean, median, and mode. And um, the data is uh, pretty much um, this parang uh, perfectly distributed, ano? Perfectly distributed. So, ito yung um, mas gusto nating mangyari. So, the data are 
symmetrically distributed. So, normally distributed. Okay? So, uh, mas preferred natin yung normal distribution. So, skewness. If the skewness is less than negative 1 or greater than 1, then we say that the data is highly skewed. Okay? Highly skewed. So, if the skewness is less than negative 1 or greater than 1. Kapag um, sinabing moderately skewed, then the skewness should be between negative 1 and negative 0.5 or between 0.5 and positive 1. So, ibig sabihin, mas gusto natin yung skewness na within negative 0.5 and positive 5. Kasi pag ang skewness is between 0 0.5 and positive 0.5, the distribution is approximately symmetric. So, parang malapit na siya sa normal distribution. Okay? And if the skewness is 0, yun ang pinakagusto natin, then we say that the data is perfectly symmetrical. Ganito na siya. So, this is a symmetrical distribution, ano? So, it's like, and, uh, yung, yung sa bell curve, it's perfect. So, normally distributed. So, distribution of data, another um, statistical tool for that is the kurtosis. Kurtosis refers to the sharpness of the peak of the distribution. So, broad ba siya? Broad ang distribution. Yung, yung peak niya is broad, kagaya niyan. Or normal ba siya? Or, um, anong tawag dito? Pointed ba masyado ang, ang peak ng distribution? So, data with skewness of 0 and kurtosis between negative 1 and 1 can be described as normally distributed data. So, ito yung pinakagusto nating mangyari. That the data will be normally distributed. Ito yung isa sa mga requirement um, before we can apply um, or use um, specific um, statistical tools, ano? Um, just like yung test of correlation. Test of correlation. So, kailangan natin siyang um, i-comply muna yung mga requirements. Unang-una, um, dapat yung data mo dapat normally distributed. So, with that, we need to check on the skewness of the data and the kurtosis as well. Uh, yung sa distribution ng data. So, um, masasabi natin normally distributed kung ang skewness ay zero at ang kurtosis naman ay between negative one and one. 